Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it's my uh, distinct privilege to welcome you to this very special concert this afternoon. My name is Wayne Castle, and uh, 40 years ago, I uh, completed my first year of teaching at Messiah College here. And it was uh, that summer that my wife Ruth and I were privileged to accompany the Master Six on their uh, summer tour. We had a lot of fun together. We did a lot of hard work together. And uh, we traveled all sorts of places. We toured, of course, for the college. <clears throat> and uh, we toured at different churches and camps uh, as far west as Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. The only time I've ever been there. <clears throat> During the previous year, the uh, quartet had traveled with the Messiah College Ladies Trio. And uh, they did, in their travels, they had gone through Ontario and I think as far west as Oklahoma. During those academic years, of course, they did a lot of singing locally. And perhaps you were able to enjoy some of their singing locally. These nine folks, the Master Six plus the Ladies Trio, have not been together on stage since 40 years ago. So let's see how they do today. <laughs> Many of you were classmates of theirs, and uh, some of you remember having chapel in this very room, and uh, you heard them singing their final concert. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, and all of those things. So those are great memories to bring back. But you aren't here to think about that. You're here to enjoy the music. So let's get on with the music with the Master Six and the Ladies Trio. A song is a beautiful thing, voices join in full-throated melody, and live to blend in glorious harmony. Men's hearts are moved, he lifted to ecstasy with a song. For a song is a beautiful thing, but when I sing, Lord, let it not be for this alone, lest fruitless I be when day is done. Touch thou my lips, thy beauty let me see, and fill my heart with love eternally, that men may come to know and adore thee. Lord, this prayer I bring, Lord, for Thee I
merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, who wert and art and evermore shalt be. Cherubim and seraphim are falling down before thee. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God Almighty, all thy works shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. Savior, who walks beside me everywhere I go, I go. My heart rejoices in his loving favor, and all who will his saving grace may know. I never walk alone. Christ walks beside me. He is the dearest friend I've ever known. With such a friend to comfort and to guide me. I never know, I never walk stormy weather, when winds of trouble sweep about my head. I know I'm safe because we are together, and round me his protecting love is spread. Is spread. I never walk alone, Christ walks beside He's the dearest friend I've ever known. With such a friend to comfort and to guide me, I never, no, I never walk alone. I never walk alone. Christ walks beside.
guide me. He is the dearest friend I've ever known. With such a friend to comfort and to guide me. I never know, I never walk alone. I never know, I never walk alone. I'm Albert Smith. Forty years ago, these young fellows were one of the best PR teams we had at Messiah College, a pick, particularly to attract young ladies. <laughs> I was, uh, among other things, responsible for the public relations and uh, scheduling for them, and they were always anxious to be of service. And I say that uh, it not just as a PR, but they had a dedication that they wanted to be in service and ministry and sharing faith. And I think you can tell from them and from their lives and what has happened in the past 40 years, they have not lost that dedication. And actually, what we are here today, we are here to celebrate faith and their desire and our desire is that out of these moments of worship together, we will enhance our commitment to Christ and his ministry. Let us pray together. Father, we are so grateful for this privilege of renewing friendships and enjoying the inspiration and challenge of this hour. And we pray your blessing upon each of the songs, each of the participants, that through them and through this hour, there may be a rekindling of our love, our praise, our dedication. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Our next song has both its lyrics and melody composed by Russell Gillum, who was head of the music department at Lock Haven University for many years. I had the pleasure of knowing Russell. He grew up in the Church of the Brethren and had great appreciation for a cappella male singing. Please note Russell's artwork in shaping both the lyrics and the melody to work together in concert to exhort us to be more faithful in praising God in his song, The Trees Lift Up Their Heads. Trees lift up their heads unto the sky. The trees lift up their hearts toward things on high. Praising God who placed them there. Praising God for sun and air. And so should man praise God all. And so should man praise God, praise God always. The clouds float high and white across the sky. The clouds float clear and light to glorify. 
the omnipresent power, God, the force that paints the flood. And so should man praise God always, and so should man praise God, praise God. Which blows so rain under the sky, the lily pure and white he straw with night, praising God for rain and snow, praising God for strength to grow, and so should man praise God all. So should man praise God, praise God Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises, sing praises. Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises, sing praises. For God is King. For God is King. For God is King. Is King over all the earth. For God is King. Is king or all the earth? Is king or all the earth? Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises to God. Is praises, sing praises, sing praises to God. Is praises, sing praises, sing praises to God. For He is king. For He is king. Sing praises. Sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praises, sing praises, sing praises unto our King. Sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing. Thine eyes are lifted up. 
Jan Engel. I'll be leading you now in a responsive reading. If you would please take your program folder and stand with me. You will find the reading on the back page of the folder. This is a selection of verses taken from Psalm 95 and 6. We thought they were a good choice for a musical program this afternoon. I will be reading the light print and you follow with the words in bold print. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. For the Lord is the great God. In his hands are the depths of the earth. The sea is his, for he made it. Come, let us bow down and worship. For he is our God. The flock under his care. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. You may be seated.
Thank you, Aletha, for that piano selection. Very beautifully done. Aletha, would you please stand and accept the applause of this audience for that piece? <laughs> Aletha is the professional musician of this group. She's uh, lived her life uh, doing various musical things, and you can tell it in her style. She is a professional musician. I am Dave Brubaker. It's certainly exciting to see you all here. Wow, what a gathering. My heart at this moment seems to be beating much faster than normal. Uh, and we are certainly energized up here as we are standing uh, looking at your faces. It is so wonderful that uh, we are able to sing to you again. We are eager to have a record of your uh, attendance here, so we have placed an attendance register in each bench at the center aisles here, and up in the balcony, they are to the far right. Uh, if you who are near where these attendance registers are, would take them now, see that they are passed along the benches and uh, make it possible for everyone who is here to uh, sign your name along the way. It seems pretty amazing to the nine of us that in the providence of God, we are all back here in this chapel and on this platform. On hearing that this was being planned, someone asked, are they all still alive? <laughs> and can they sing? Of course I answered, although I might have hedged just slightly on the latter for myself. Although, on the first part, I know I am very alive. <laughs> you can imagine the excitement we experienced when on Friday evening this group assembled for the first time since 1963. Various ones of us have been together in different ways, but Friday was the first gathering for the entire group since we left college 40 years ago. And although we would not presume any ability to replicate the 60s, the basic sound of the combination of voices still exists. We enjoyed listening to it, and I hope you will enjoy that as well. You see, it's the same combination of voices. It's just 40 years older. So thanks for being here. An idea that started out small grew to what we have today. We are humbled. You made the trip to get here. We'll try to give you something to enjoy. So just sit back and relax, be at ease, overlook our weaknesses, and look to see what God has for you in this. There will be a punch and cookies reception in the basement in the fellowship hall immediately after our dismissal, and we hope that this will facilitate visiting amongst your friends and meeting us. We have also made provision for those of you who might like to contribute some, toward some of today's expenses you will be able to do that as you leave the sanctuary if you have any desire to do so. We have recognized in the program numerous people who have assisted us, and I thank them now all again. Without their help, this event could not be happening. Additionally, we have Mr. Dave Feruza and Mr. Peter Allen and Mr. Jeffrey Strickland who have helped us with the sound uh, that uh, you're hearing today in terms of the techn technical side of it. So thanks you thank you, Dave, Peter, and Jeffrey for doing that. Let's give them our applause. <laughs> and now I want to introduce the rest of the group, those whose names have not already been mentioned. First of all, we have Marilyn Heisey and Joanne Winger and Kathy Steubing, the trio. They deserve your applause right here and now. <laughs> How wonderful it is that Kathy's plans just coincided with the desire to do this event and that she could be here all the way from Zambia. Praise the Lord for that. Also, we have Mr. Ken Engel. Ken is our group's preacher, and we have Harold Miller standing over there with a smile on his face already. He's the one who keeps us smiling. Harold can take a very serious moment and turn it easily into great laughter. 
as Dave said, it's been 40 years. Uh, we traveled two summers, as was mentioned. Uh, I brought back a souvenir that nobody else brought back. You see, we walked into a church in Niagara Falls back in uh, 62. And I spied, no, it was 62. Uh, what? Oh, she's wrong, it's 62. <laughs> Really? Wasn't it at 61? No, 62. We didn't okay. travel in 61. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah. And uh, I spied a young lady, and I thought she might make a good uh, student. Turns out, I, I mean, I worked on her hard. I wrote to her for two years and went to visit her and all kinds of stuff. She says, no. I said, well, what are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to paraphrase here, okay? And she said, well, I might marry you. I mean, well, I guess I'd hinted to her before that. But anyway. and, and, and on another my different note, uh, I recall I'm the only one of the quartet that ever had a chance to sing for any of our grandparents, I believe. I asked the fellows that once. Uh, I know I sang for both of my grandparents, my grandfathers, and maybe my grandmother the year before in 62. Uh, I, as a grandson, sing to my grandparents. Now today, you see four grandfathers with grandchildren in the audience, and I think that's pretty special. <laughs> now, to prove to you that we're not as old as we look, I mean, we, uh, we have tried to learn some new songs over the years. One we're about to do now, we just learned this year. It's our song of 2003. Uh, it's a fun song. It's, there's not a lot of... Um, deep spiritual content, although there are some good messages in it. And uh, the title of it, I'm not sure what's in your program. Does it say, Ain't It a Shame? Okay. Now, like I said, our goal is to sing this song well enough that when we're finished, you don't take out your pen, scribble out Ain't It a Shame, write down, that was a shame. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do our best. Ain't it a shame to work on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to work on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to work on a Sunday when you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday too? Ain't it a shame for to work on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to lie on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to lie on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to lie on a Sunday or on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday too? Ain't it a shame for to lie on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Shame to steal on a Sunday. Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to steal on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame to steal on a Sunday or on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday too? Ain't it a shame for to steal on a Sunday? Ain't it a shame? Ain't it a shame, oh, ain't it a shame, ain't it a shame to work on a Sunday, ain't it a shame to lie on a Sunday, ain't it a shame to steal on a Sunday, ain't it a shame, shame. So Red already said we're all older and wiser now. At least we like to think we're wiser. But back in the days when we traveled, these guys could get pretty crazy at times. Understand this was not during a program. However, there was one song. It just happened to be one of their most requested. And it allowed them to get just a bit crazy on stage. It was a song that was good for children. Children of all ages. So here it is for you now. The animal song. 
Yes, Lord. The animals are coming one by one. The old cow chewing on a caraway bun. The animals are coming two by two. The elephant and the kangaroo. The animals are coming three by three. The bear and the bug and the bumblebee. Oh, the animals are coming four by four. The old hippopotamus stuck in the door. The animals are coming five by five. Thus the animals did arrive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, the animals are coming six by six. The am the hyena laughing at the monkey's <laughs> tricks. The, the animals are coming seven by seven. The old, old fat, fat pig says. Hey, who's that shoving? The animals are coming eight by eight. Noah Howard out, shut that gate. Oh, the animals are coming nine by nine. Noah Howard out, cut the line. The animals are coming ten by ten. The old ark blew its whistle then, and nobody knew where they was at to the old ark bump on Ararat. Hallelujah, 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 That's our animal song. It is indeed a great pleasure to have here with us today two of the music professors who, are, who were our teachers. We have Mr. Emerson Fry and Dr. Ronald Sider. Uh, would Dr. Sider and Mr. Fry, would you please come now uh, and uh, go to your places at the organ and come to direct the song? Mr. Fry was the uh, person who helped to put these two groups together. He led our choral society, just come and be with me here. He led our choral society tours and he helped us in our recording sessions. And he's going to be directing you now in the singing of To God Be the Glory. Dr. Sider was our music teacher also. He taught my favorite class, that was music theory, you see. He always gave me good grades in that class. <laughs> he was our organist for our recordings, and he still teaches organ right here in this very room and at this organ. He'll be at the organ now as we sing. So please take your hymnal and turn to number 16. Number 16. And would you please stand, and they will lead you in singing of this song. Except the last stanza, I'd like you to sing it a cappella. And um, uh, this song lends itself to antiphonal singing. You know, one group over here and another group over here. It's an ancient practice, and we're going to practice it today. Uh, when we get to the chorus, praise, praise the Lord, I want this side to sing the first one, this side to sing the second one as, as an answer to that. And when we get to the second stanza, I want the ladies to sing praise the Lord, and the men to respond, praise the Lord, on the second time, on both of those lines, as you see them there in the chorus. And then when we get to the last stanza, I'd like us to sing that last stanza in four parts, a cappella. I was so glad to hear the quartet uh, do some a cappella music here, because that's the way I grew up, and the way some of those, uh, well, I, I think of these as my kids, you know. <laughs> So the way they grew up too. So let's begin. Okay. Um.
Thank you.